eulogy, family life and education. Joyce Cherono Laboso was born to the late Frederick Laboso and the late Mrs. Rebecca Laboso in Kimulot, Konoin sublocation on the 25th of November, 1960. She was a loving sister to the late Lona Laboso, Mary Laboso, Julie Laboso, the late Bernard Langat, and David Langat Laboso. She was married to Edwin Abonio in 1983, and they're blessed with two sons, Brian Abonio and Ted Abonio, and raised Mina Laboso and fostered Marco Laboso. She started her schooling at Kaminjaiwet Primary School and later moved to Molo Primary School before proceeding to the Kenya High School for her O and A level education. She then joined Kenyatta University to pursue a Bachelor of Arts in French Literature and Education. Dr. Laboso then undertook a postgraduate diploma in French at the University of Paul Valéry. In 1990, she completed her master's degree studies at the University of Reading and later PhD at the University of Hull. Professional career. Dr. Laboso was a career teacher, having started teaching at Kipsikis Girls High School and became a lecturer at Edgerton University, where she became an assistant dean of students at the university. She went to Firehouse Education Center in Hull, United Kingdom, and became a special needs lecturer. Political career. Dr. Laboso joined the world of politics when she was elected to parliament to represent the Sotik constituency in a by-election held on the 25th of September, 2008, succeeding her late sister, Honorable Lona Laboso. In 2013, she reclaimed the Sotik MP seat owing to her development record. Her political star started to shine immediately she joined parliament. Within a few years, she rose to be Kenya's first female deputy speaker. In, in the 2017 general election, Dr. Laboso ran for the hotly contested Bomet gubernatorial seat and won with a landslide to become the second governor of Bomet and one of the three pioneer women governors in Kenya. Dr. Laboso, the leader. Dr. Joyce Laboso was a hardworking, dedicated leader and a trailblazer who broke the glass ceiling in politics and national leadership. She fought for the space of women in leadership and passionately advocated for gender and equality. As a Sotik, as MP of Sotik from 2008 to 2017, Dr. Joyce Laboso performed exemplarily well through her constituency development funds, placing Sotik constituency on the map among the best performing in the country. In education, she improved the infrastructure of over 60% of, of both primary and secondary schools. She had a keen interest on special needs education and thus started and improved special needs schools, e.g. Um, <coughs> St. Kizito School for the Deaf and um, Kipnosos School for the Mentally Handicapped. Through the economic stimulus program, she built Lona Laboso Girls, which was made a center of excellence. Jointly with the Bomet East CDF, she started the KMTC Bomet campus at Longisa Referral Hospital. Dr. Joyce Laboso, in a bid to improve the economic status of women in Sotik, established a fresh produce market and Juakali shed for the business women and border border operators. Dr. Joyce Laboso believed in education and worked hard to ensure no child missed education due to lack of funds. She then established a kitty for bright but needy students, uh, joining national schools, uh, so for bright and needy students joining national schools. In 2004, we had only four students benefiting from the kitty, and by 2017, when she left, there were 402 benefiting from the kitty. In roads projects, she lobbied for the tarmacking of KCC Ndanai Gorgor Road and several ring roads in Sotik Town. In youth and women empowerment, Dr. Laboso was able to establish circles for both the women and the youth, like the Kotab Gor Women Circle. In a bid to improve health, she ensured every sublocation had a dispensary which was fully equipped. 
she did three major water projects, Kamureto, Yaganek, and Gelegele projects. To improve access to power, she used matching funds from the uh, constituency through CDF. She ensured all secondary schools and health centers had electricity. Dr. Joyce loved peace. She was instrumental in the promotion of peace among neighbors. For example, Borabu Chebelat Border Peace Initiative as the governor. After her election in 2017, Bomet County experienced tremendous peace and tranquility. She had a harmonious working relationship with both the MPs and the county assembly. Governor Dr. Loboso spearheaded reforms in the county. For the two years she served, Bomet County experienced tremendous improvements and change. Department of Agriculture, Livestock and Cooperatives. She purchased 50 motorcycles for extension officers, supplied five units of 10,000 capacity egg incubators, 60,000 tissue culture banana seedlings, and 32,000 grafted mango seedlings, 23,000 Hass avocado seedlings distributed at subsidized rates, and expanded Chebunyo milk processing plant. Department of Health entered into agreement with the national government to build and equip a cancer center at Longisa Referral Hospital, recruited 324 technical and medical staff on a permanent basis, launched the UHC program covering 10,000 households, operationalized two theaters in Danai and Cheptalal, and purchased two state-of-the-art ambulances and built nine new dispensaries. Department of Roads, Transport and Public Works constructed and maintained 889.6 kilometers of roads, built over seven bridges, and purchased a brand new bulldozer. Department of Water, Environment, and Sanitation connected 14,000 households to clean piped water, sunk 35 water pans, initiated uh, and completed protection of over 75 springs, um, planted, planted over 1 million trees, completed Bomet County Water Master Plan, completed designs for sewerage systems for SOTIC and its environs. Department of Education and Vocational Training, 180 fully equipped and operational ECDs, employ 984 984 ECD teachers, improved infrastructure of over 33 VTCs, enrolled over 4,000 students on the uh, county bursary uh, program, initiated Bomet County Revolving Fund, held loan. Department of Youth, Gender and Social Services, initiated Inua Mama Nakuku program targeting to supply CBOs with 50,000 chicks, initiated internship where 250 interns are currently attached to different departments, launched inaugural annual BOMET Half Marathon. Uh, 6,250 youths have been empowered on entrepreneurship skills, digital training skills, group formation, company registration and tendering process. Established businesses for PWDs by issuing them with tools of trade. Department of Trade, Energy, Investment and Tourism hosted the inaugural LRE B Investment Conference, Lake Region Economic Block Investment Conference, built 76 border border sheds, 40 shoe shiner sheds, and 11 Joakali sheds, installed 46 complete floodlight units in shopping centers across the county. Department of Administration, Public Service, and ICT. Trained over 1,000 border border riders, recruited and trained 160 enforcement officers, purchased a modern fire engine, initiated the construction of the governor's official residence, completed five ward visits. Department of Lands, Housing, and Urban Planning. Completed the uh, completion of three modern markets in Bomet Town, Mulot, and Mogogo Siek. Recapiting of Bomet Town streets, relocation of traders from the highway to the modern markets, extension of Bomet Town sewer system. Uh, Dr. Laboso Legacy Project, the construction of the Mother and Child Wellness Center. Dr. Laboso's Legacy Project is a 250 bed capacity, ultra modern mother and child wellness center valued at approximately 1.4 billion Kenyan shillings. The project was to be funded jointly by the county government of Bomet and donors. The aim of this project was to reduce child mortality, the child mortality rate in Bomet. This project was close to her heart. And thus, Dr. Laboso had set out to spearhead the sourcing of funds from potential don donors. The design of this project is complete. Unfortunately, with the sudden, uh, sudden passing of the governor, the realization of this project is at stake. 
it is the wish of the residents of Bomet County and especially mothers that this project is supported by the national government and be named Dr. Joyce Laboso Mother and Child Memorial Hospital.